Hello everyone. It is Saturday, March 5th. And uh, I got the little guy here. Terry's out doing some stuff today. So it's a beautiful day here in the Chicagoland area. It's like almost 70 degrees today. So when you get warm weather in early March, you gotta take advantage of it. So we're gonna head out. I don't know, there's like a little place where you can walk. I don't know how muddy it's gonna be. But I'm going to take them there and see how, how it is. And if it's nice, we'll take a walk around there for a little bit. There's another path around here where we live, too. I might take them. And then um, first, we're probably going to go to PetSmart, though, first and get them some treats and stuff. There's people working on a house in back of us. And he hears all the noises. But he's already strapped in and everything, ready to go in the front seat. Get up, up, up. I don't like him on top of my console if I could help it, but... That's what happens when you have a dog. All right, so we'll see you guys at PetSmart or our walking path. I'm not sure where we're going first. Found this little place here by Barrington Road and Hoffman Estates. We found his own path. So it's a nice between trees and stuff we're gonna go. So here's a cool little path that we're going on. I think we're bikes down here and stuff. We did this before when we had our Killian Doberman thorns and I used this. So he's smelling everything. It's like a perfect day out here for a dog. It'd be cool here when like the trees are changing and stuff. We'll come back here like in the fall. All right, come on. Just in case there's anything in there, like dead mice or something. So yeah, it's just me and uh, Killian today. Or Killian. So I bring up his name. Me and Thorin today. It's weird. I brought up his name, Killian, because he was here before. But um, yeah, I don't know how far this goes, but we'll see. Pretty cool. We're like in the beginning of March, so April 15th, Six Flags Great America opens back up. So we'll be uh, hopefully there either opening day Friday or the Saturday, the second day. Um, and then we go back to Florida in the beginning of May. So we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. We also want to go to the Volo Auto Museum where they have a bunch of cool cars for movies and stuff. We'll be going to soon. And we'll vlog that as well. cool it's nice stuff over here it's nice to get out after the winter and stuff of being cold weather and everything and next month we're going to start opening up the trailer and everything so um it's nice to be able to get out here with thorn he smells a whole bunch of stuff what are you doing buddy come on i don't know what this crap is do your business and let's go <laughs> All right, so we're gonna continue to walk down here. If there's anything cool besides just trees on the path, I'll let you know. What I really need to do is dress up as Jason or Michael Myers. I walk through these areas right here as people walk by and scare them. That'd be cool. Probably get in trouble though, but that would be cool. All right, put your scent everywhere. Probably smelling a whole bunch of stuff. There's probably a lot of dogs that walk through here. Still not, I don't know how, I guess, like I said, this goes all the way across. I mean, this goes all the way from Barrington Road all the way through 59, I think. And But, um, can't walk that far with him. He hasn't had the stamina of some other dogs. Still got a little bit of snow left here. I'm sure that'll be gone by the end of the day today. So nothing, uh, I mean, it's just cool walking through, but nothing that interesting or old buildings or anything like that. I mean, it's a pretty cool tree right here. Pretty cool old tree. But, uh, and there's where we came from. I think we're coming to the end over here anyway. There's a street right here. I think this goes across, and there's another path across which I can't take him there so probably gonna head back huh? stop ahead I'm gonna see a little creek but it looks like a little sewerage <laughs> not a creek yes this is brings you back to like uh, 72 I'm just gonna see how what a stubborn French bulldog is he wants to keep going, but we gotta go back, watch. 
This is what he does. Come on, buddy. <laughs> no, this way. Come on. This way. That's how a lot of French bulldogs are. They don't like being told what to do. So it's like if they pull away or they uh, say no, when you get in back of them and they start moving, you're kind of like he's saying, okay, I'll go now, but it's because I told myself to go. I told you to come with. So that's how uh, most bulldogs are. I'm sure some are not like this, but that's how this little guy is. Other, it's cool to see through here. I'm gonna start looking up some places we can walk with them a little bit. They might have some cool older buildings and everything. I know there's some like little towns and everything we could probably bring them to. They have some areas that we could sit outside and where it's pet friendly. All right, so we're gonna head back now and probably see a pet smart next. We do have a little bench here for the rest. We do have that. Here's like a little perspective of where we are. Just got back. So, and there's Barrington Road right there. Again, dog in the car barking. Probably jealous because we're out walking and the dog's stuck in the car. Take a little picnic area over there too in the distance. Get a little parties or something. All right, so on to our next place. Okay, so we're on the next spot, PetSmart. So I'll show you guys, I'm not gonna vlog in there because with holding him and all the stuff, and I don't know if there's gonna be other dogs in there. So I figured it'd just be easier. There's a dog in that car over there. I don't know why they're not bringing a dog in. Maybe the dog's crazy. But um, just easier for me to get, to get, you know, not to vlog in there and, and have to worry about other dogs and stuff and carrying everything else. Terry was here then, yeah. So what, I, what I'll do is I'm gonna, he's gonna pick out a couple toys, see what kind of treats I can get him. And then when I get back in the car, I'll show you guys what we got him. All right, see you guys when we get back. We're back, he's out of breath. I mean, all we do is take a little walk over there. It's like in the mid, 61 degrees right now. And uh, took a walk at PetSmart for a little bit, walked around the store until he found a couple things he liked. So he actually picked this thing out. It's like a Kong safe stick, safer than sticks. Who knows if he's gonna play with it, but it was everything was on sale. And then got him he liked this thing too. Like a Kong Wubba. I don't even know what that means. But he likes like pulling and stuff and playing, so hopefully he'll like these. And then got him these old Mother Hubbard classic peanut butter treats. So not bad, it was like 20 bucks for all this stuff. Like 25% off everything. So now we're gonna head back home. Grab a cigar, sit outside. I'll show you guys where we sit in the front of the garage for a little bit and how he sits. Okay? So that little guy is pooped right now. Looking out. <laughs> Look at him falling asleep right now. He loves to drive. So that little walk and going to PetSmart just exhausted him. So we're going to go back home now. I'm going to grab a cigar and uh, get a chair outside for him to sit. We're going to sit out by the front. I'll show you how he passes out there. Got to feed him lunch first, though, when we get home. So, I was tempted. I was going to stop at Starbucks and get the puppuccino for him, but he got he's, he has a sensitive stomach, so I don't want to take a chance with him with eating that stuff. One time I gave him one French fry, and he was diarrhea for like a day. So, we'll be home in a little bit. So we're back, and um, right next to Shorty in the garage. And Michael Myers. We're just sitting outside here today because we don't have the patio furniture yet in the back. So we're just sitting here having a cigar, these new acid 20s, which are great. And just sitting here relaxing like a little guy. So as you can see, it's a beautiful day out here. Fortunately, though, I have my little liquor stash here. Um, nine weeks I've, I'm gone now without drinking. Nine weeks. It's been very tough, but not even one drink. So um, I'm going four months total. It's going to be April 30th will be my next drink, or May 1st. So it's been tough, but um, especially like a day like this, it would be nice to sit out here with a couple drinks, but can't do it. So got to stick to it. 
So we'll probably probably take a walk around the lake a little bit later. He's still pooped. He's sleeping out here now for like the last 20 minutes. So this guy's a nice little pillow on a chair. I gotta find a nice chair for him at the uh, patio. So we got a new grill for the patio in the back, and or and a, and a new patio too. So. And then also when I'm, I'm charging the batteries for the boat, there's for boat battery, because that's coming soon in a, two months. So yeah, things are starting to look a lot better with weather and stuff, so. All right, well, Thorne's not gonna be that much fun on the video because he's just sleeping now. Well, he's getting up. Just moving in the sun. He wants me back there to sit down, so. All right, we'll see you guys later. So he's ready to come back in, and he saw his toys over there. Look at him staring at his toys. <laughs> it's hilarious. Look at him. No, you can't have those. Those are ones you already ripped already, buddy. <laughs> oh, this dog is funny. I'm gonna clean this garage. It's all messy from all this stuff in there. All right, Thorne, we gotta go back in. Come on. He's gonna stare. All right, you ready? Guess what? Mommy's back. I'm back. Terry had to grab him, though. Don't think that he just jumped oh, in her lap. He yeah, just yeah. In my lap. All right, bubbles. So we're probably gonna take a walk around the lake in a little bit. He's sitting there with me. Mm. He's still tired. Where's that? Uh, mind the mess. This is like Thorn's play area, but he likes this one the best that I showed you guys right there. Up oh, here he goes. See? And that big thing right there, that stick thing, that was a waste of money. He hasn't even picked it up. Come on, you want this thing? Come on. Give me that. Give me that. Nope, he don't like that. You gonna pick that up? It's got like some kind of peanut butter smell on there. Give me that. Give me that, buddy. Nope. Alright, so we'll see you guys when we take a walk and... Terry's with us now. Oh, yeah. So there's Thorne's beautiful blanket that he's torn apart. Yeah. So at least one of the two toys he's still playing with, so that's good. Today's going to be a, our vlog all about Thorne. Because he takes the blanket. He puts and it he, over it, and then he, like, like rips the blanket. I, I have no idea. Yeah. I don't know how he learned how to play like that. And then... Whatever toy Terry got there, I gotta show you this. I'm not gonna say it for the kiddos that watch this video, but what does that look like to everyone? <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. That was a long time ago. I yeah. Remember. Wonder why you bought that, honey. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that thing doesn't look too good either. <laughs> but I told him when I was there that I let him, whatever he went to twice. Yeah, but I would never bought it. I, I probably shouldn't have, I know. But it was like eight bucks only. Oh, look, he's picking it up. Oh, look at that. See, maybe. Look at that. When you buy him stuff. See, Terry buys I him these. Buy him the, the stuff, the animals that he can't. Yeah, that he rips apart in two seconds. This stuff is a lot stronger now. Because he did pick up, like, he picked up a big pheasant. The one yeah. that Killian had before him. And uh, I'm like, there's no way. It had, like, all these. They, there's a Monopoly toy he picked up. And I'm like, I don't know if they get mad if the dog picks up and puts their slobber all over all the toys. He probably picked about 15 things. I just let him go at it. I wish I could have logged it, but I didn't want to take a chance with other dogs in there. So yeah, there you go. There's Thorn. I'm probably going to take him for a walk around the lake. We'll show you guys our lake and everything and the bench we sit at. So yeah, this is what he does. We have no idea what he does. <laughs> And there's blue pieces everywhere. Oh, there's a dog out there. Oh, it's up on top of the hill. I mean, you wouldn't think he's almost eight years old in October. Yeah, I think when uh, he doesn't play anymore, that's when we know. He's getting really he's up there. Slow down. Well, I hope you guys like this different video today. We're not going to start doing some amusement park stuff until next month. But we had good news when we go in October for his birthday to Gatlinburg. Dollywood's open almost the whole week. Their yeah, Harvest, the Harvest Fest. 
So it's $114 for a three-day ticket, and then each day is 60 bucks a person for the... You get eight rides. You skip the line. So... Who knows? And he said during the week it's not that busy in October, so we'll just go there and see. We'll buy it there. I'm not gonna buy it beforehand. Yeah, I would think probably the end of October is a little more busier. They said the weekend's really bad. Yeah. But well, the, we're only gonna be there probably on that Sunday. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Man, there's no alcohol at Dollywood, so remember that. Look at this network. They don't, just have, they don't have beer, wine. Nothing at all. It says that when you look at their FAQs, it says no alcohol allowed at all on the premises. Well, we know it's not a dry county because there's no. I just think Dollywood has their rules because they're religious and But a lot of stuff. places might be dry on Look at it, it's stuck in that hole, honey. Here, you want me to help? Uh-oh. Here, let me get this oh, He really got that thing tangled up in there. Look at that. <laughs> Go the other way. There you go. Jeez. I don't think it's supposed to go this way. There, there we go. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. It's, it's baby Kong. He's like, the noise stopped. <laughs> Look at this blanket. <laughs> Looks like Swiss cheese. It's all him. <laughs> Jeez. I should, uh... Those are really cheap. You get a cheap one for like 10 bucks. Get another one. Maybe one that's low. Sturdier, but then he's gonna ruin it anyway, no matter what. You done playing, buddy? Hmm? You done playing? I'll go for a walk? I'll go I don't know. Walk? He's gonna be he's pooped out. On the lake? Go like, to your no bench? way. The lake. Go to your bench? That's a fun walk. It's not that long. It's like a little less I'm than tell him mile. that after walking all that. Alright, so we're on our walk again. Thorn's gonna be pooped. I got Terry with us this time. <laughs> Got a nice cigar here for the walk. We live like in a townhouse community, so it's nothing fancy or anything, but we do have a nice little lake area that Thorne likes with some fountains and stuff that are on in the summer. So we'll show you guys when we get there. Here he comes. I don't think it's that cool. So there's our lake. Yeah, it's still, no, it's just, yeah, it's still frozen, yeah. <sighs> For some reason, Thorn likes going out of these gazebos all the time. Let's see, let me get right there. Thorn's just gonna be in those bushes. Wait. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, there he goes. Thorn's little gazebo. Oh. I might just stand. Starting to drizzle a little bit, like to stay under here for a little bit. Oops. Walking on the ice in the water. It's gonna be cold water. Yeah, I know. So we always walk him through here and I watch what he does. He's gonna head straight to the bench. Do <laughs> his little sniffing first. I don't know what is that. Ugh. Oh, maybe not. Look at that. He's being difficult. You know, he knows he's on camera. Maybe he sees a dog in there. Well, he smells garbage. and it's like drizzling. He doesn't like that. So otherwise he would jump right up. Mark in a spot a couple times. He's on a mission or something. I don't know. Probably mission so to get back. So, fast. so we're heading back now. Alright everyone, hello. You see who's in the back seat? 
Okay. Am I a Uber driver? There you are, sir. <laughs> I'd like to go to uh, Jewel. The reason why we're doing this is because remember we talked about like we're eating healthier during the week and say our day is our cheat day, so we're getting pizza today from a really good place. We'll show you how that looks when we get back. And we're taking Thorn for a ride, but because yeah. Thorn's got this little car seat yeah. in the front, look at him just lounging already, just sitting there. Well, he's tired. Yeah, he's tired from all that walk. Because if you guys saw, this is right about 10, 15 minutes after we walked around the lake. And it came down a little bit raining, so we didn't want to, luckily we, we didn't sit down. But we're going to get the pizza now. And um, Thorne's ready for another ride. He's probably tired of all these rides today, but hopefully he'll be pooped out tonight. So when we get back, we'll show you guys the pizza. Alright, so Terry's going in to get the pizza. This is the place we order from. Sells pizza. It's in Algonquin. And they used to be called Mangie's Pizza in Chicago. And they are really good. Thin crust pizza here. Even though we're in Chicago, we like thin crust better than um, deep dish. But this place is really good. So we'll show you that. And there's Thorne waiting for Mommy. Even though he can't have any of this. But yeah, this is really good pizza. And we'll show you when we get home. It's Thorne looking. Smells all the good pizza smells. Unfortunately, he can't have this. Thorne cannot have... We give him a little bit like filet mignon, sometimes a little bit of steak, but he has a very sensitive stomach. If you're ever in the Algonquin area, or an Algonquin Road between Randall and 31, this place is really good. There's not too many good pizza places out here in the suburbs. When I grew up in Chicago for 20 years, you get kind of... You get spoiled living in Chicago with all the good pizza places. Look at Thorne's face right there through the rearview mirror. This is all Thorne's vlog. We have like maybe, we're, we're getting like, back in February of 2021, we had, um, we just hit like 100 subscribers. We're almost at 200 now. And um, Thorne will probably, everyone will probably want to see Thorne. We'll probably get a lot of subscribers with Thorne. Right, buddy? People want to see you and not see Terry and I talk about amusement parks all the time. And Thorne's getting antsy. You can smell um, the door's been open, and all of a sudden you can smell all that goodness from cells. And he's like, looking. you can smell it. His nose keeps moving up and down. It's hilarious. You smell that, buddy? I hope you're jumping out. <laughs> Good bad night. He's scared. There he goes. <laughs> you like that smell, buddy? I wish you could have that food, but you can't. Look, okay, he's getting my truck all dirty with his mouth. You can see all that stuff, all this hair everywhere. And tomorrow I'll have to do a deep cleaning in here tomorrow, buddy. This is the look of a dog that says, stop schlepping me around everywhere. I want my couch, it's enough. So here's the pizza, we only got cheese, cause Terry only likes cheese. I like sausage, but, um, and pepperoni sometimes, but mostly sausage I like, but she don't want the sausage juice dripping, you know, going into her side of the pizza. I don't want to get two, so. As Portney doesn't like the Chicago boxes, Illinois, on the side, we know how to do that, so look at that. This looks really good. We get like a little bit well done. So we're gonna enjoy this now. And then I think that's gonna be it for the vlog today. So thank you for joining us today and watching us. If you like it, subscribe to our channel. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Um, we're gonna start doing more with Thorne on our vlog because we figure, you know, it's gonna be cool. You know, that I don't wanna even talk about, but in 10, 15 years from now, it'll be cool watching our videos with him. So um, that's about it. All right, well, you tear almost fell. <laughs> All right, Thorne, say goodbye. You're the star of the vlog today. Well, some people might think that pizza might be the star too. But we gotta eat, so. And poor little guy, he's done. He's really tired right now. All right, everyone. We'll see you in the next vlog. Who knows when that is, but we'll see you in the next vlog. So we got done with our pizza. The vlog's not over yet, because now it's sunny outside, so we're gonna walk, so we'll, the vlog is continued. But anyways, so Thorne grabbed this toy. Okay, and he's playing with it by his pillows here, two beds, and it hit the door, and he's barking because he wants someone to take it because he's scared to grab it. Look. <laughs> God, this dog is something. Here, buddy. 
So now I gotta pull this back, my little cubby hole. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Come on, give me that, buddy, come on. Give me that. Give me that, give me that. So yeah, 